find my tripod. Uh, so I said I wanted to do this earlier. Um, I haven't had a look at the footage from this morning to see if it's any good. So I'm just recording this kind of preemptively so that I have something that I can put up for today. Um, in the event that <laughs> all the footage that I took earlier is absolute garbage. So I look kind of put together. I've got my nice little, as I was saying earlier, Scottish Widow Hood. I look all like DSX, fancy, futuristic, but I'm actually wearing pyjama pants as well because it's absolutely freezing. Um, even though it's only seven at night, it's so cold. And that rumbling noise you might be able to hear is the heating on, but my room is the coldest in the house, no matter how long the heating's been on. I have an old lady heady blanket on my bed and I have a throw over you kind of blanket for downstairs because <laughs> I'm secretly an old lady who's always cold. Uh, like I said, I haven't had a look at the footage from earlier, but I wanted to do this for a while and uh, I never got around to it. When I was watching my videos from last year, last night, I was talking kind of deliriously when I had the flu about how much I wanted to do like a favourites video um, for that month, but I never did it. So we're just going to do a Lush favourites view. Uh, favourites view? Favourites video instead. Uh, no way sponsored, in no way sponsored by Lush, but you know, it should be because there's a lot of product here. <laughs> um, I don't have like a particular favourite. Actually, no, I do have one thing that's like stand above all the rest, but that's for like a specific reason that I will talk about when we get to it. But I don't have like a favourite thing like on a normal sort of level. Um, don't even have like a favourite scent like this thing I'm holding right now is the Karma soap. And I really like the Karma stuff, but it's not like my favourite scent. I don't own everything Karma scented. Um, although if there was a Lush, we're going to... Um, Dairy tomorrow. If there's a Lush and Dairy, I might pop in and get one of the little tiny uh, solid perfumes. I think I've talked about it here before. I'm kind of allergic to perfume. It makes me really dizzy. So I don't get to wear like normal perfume very often, but I can wear the solid ones. I'm getting notifications because the Wi-Fi never ever works up here, but for some reason it's working now because I'm trying to record. So I thought I'd go through quickly kind of some of the things that I really liked from Lush. Uh, I don't even know what to do order in. Um, I found the tripod and I've made space for it. This thing doesn't feel very... <laughs> there. That, this is where I'm recording. This is supposed to be filled with stuff, but it's just covered in shit right now. <laughs> um, go through soapy things. That seems like a good place to start. Well, that's the Karma thing. Uh, I haven't used this as much as I should because it was expensive. <laughs> I didn't get it out of the wee set. I know there's a Karma set and it has like, a couple of Karma scented things in it, but I just got this loose one day. Um, I was in in a bad mood and I thought I'd treat myself to something and this is what I bought even though I, I don't use it very often it still smells really good and I should probably keep it in here in my bedroom rather than in the bathroom because it I can I keep putting it up to my nose to smell but you can smell it from where I'm sitting just under the tripod I've got a bunch of other little I've got a not that you'll be able to see it it's a little dish but he's got like a skull on him and it's like my soap bar dish kind of thing and some of the soaps have stuck together so I just thought I'd bring the entire dish in rather than try and separate everything. Uh, this is the Karma shampoo bar, or sorry, Karma Kumba shampoo bar. I love the way this stuff smells. Um, I've used almost all of it. It's gotten quite thin. You can probably see the light coming through it. I broke it once and then managed to stick it back together. I don't know how. It just got wet and went really hard. It does smell really nice. I will give it that, but it doesn't get my hair as clean as this one, which is my all time favorite, even though it's in bits. <laughs> I don't know if you can kind of see that. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> trying to keep this PG. It's not working. Uh, that was supposed to be the Bunny Moon shampoo bar, which came out last year at Easter. It had this little pom-pom on it and then like little rice paper ears. And I absolutely love this stuff. Like it literally makes your hair squeaky clean and your scalp squeaky clean. Like I clearly need to wash my hair right now. Um, and I would have used that, but it's broken and they didn't bring it back again this year. Which I was kind of upset about. Uh, they didn't bring anything Bunny Moon scented over. Uh, not that I think this is like a brand of this, or not a brand of a scent, like a series of scents, or like a series that's like in a bunch of different things like Karma. Uh, but I'm really sad they didn't bring this back. It smells exactly like refreshers. Like if you live in the UK and you've ever tried a refresher, I don't know why I'm going to bite it. <laughs> but yeah, it smells exactly like refreshers. It's some sort of lemon, obviously, but the main ingredient that I remember it having was apple cider vinegar or cider vinegar and I suppose that's why it makes your hair really really clean because it's like kind of acidic and it just strips all the oil out and for someone with quite greasy hair 
that I quite like that. <laughs> like it's only been two days since I washed my hair and it looks like this already. So it's not it's not great. I hope this is not gonna come off this one. Or if it is it's gonna come ah there we go. <laughs> two things in one. <laughs> uh ignore this thing on the top. I don't no, that's really stuck. I don't really like this. It was another um sort of lemony scented thing. It's like it starts with M, it's Montbanu bar or something like that. I don't remember. I bought it thinking it might be like the Bunny Moon one, but it wasn't at all. I didn't like it. Um, this thing that's stuck to its ass, this is the thing that I wanted to talk about. This is the Rough at the Smooth exfoliating bar. And I got this because it smells like Lord of Misrule and because I needed an exfoliating thing until I got that Tony Moly stuff that I have in the bathroom at the minute. I was talking about that the other day. It's quite good, but it is quite sharp. Um, and it wasn't working the best for me because it is quite sharp and I have really sensitive skin. Although I really like the smell, I, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd buy it again. <laughs> um, it sits too sharp on me. Although it does smell very good. Uh, what is this one? Nope, that's not one of the things. This was a favourite. This was like my all time favourite thing from Lush. It's the Milky Bar Soap Bar. And it smelled absolutely amazing. I used to get it in the bath bomb until I started breaking out quite badly. I, I thought maybe it was because of it. Um, because I got like we had quite a small bath before we got rid of it, and there was chunks left in the water after I'd put the bath bomb in. So I just thought, oh, I'll smooth it over my skin, just to get some of the scent on me, and I, it made me break out really bad. So I stopped getting that and started getting the soap, but it doesn't smell the same because they got rid of the milk in it. <laughs> um, I think they use soy milk now and it just it's not as nice, it doesn't smell the same. But I'm putting it in this video anyway just to remind myself of better times. Uh, more soapy shampoo-y things. Now this is something that I would buy again and again and again. This is the American cream stuff. It just came out at Easter. I have this and I have the... I don't know where... Oh, there it is. The American pie which the, the same scent basically, um, although I don't know why this is called pie and this is called cream. It sounds very similar to the American Dream Cream, so I think they should have just stuck with one name. I don't know what to tell you how it smells like. It, it's supposed to be strawberries and orange juice, but I don't smell either strawberries or orange juice in this. It does have a vaguely kind of orangey smell, but like orange blossoms more than oranges. Um, the reason I bought it is because a, I needed a new body conditioner and soap because I was out of Lord of Misrule and this one just caught my nose and B because when I did actually sit down and smell it it smells like my grandmother's perfume <laughs> so it's quite a nice smell um I don't know what the perfume is called but again because I'm allergic I don't get to wear it it is it's just an amazing smell I got the big one um I have a smaller one in the bathroom at the minute that I've been using um but this is limited edition it doesn't say on the bottle although it should because the guy in the store told me that it was limited edition um, so I'm trying to stock up on it while I can the American pie thing this smells exactly the same um, although I would say this scent sort of lingers a bit more because I put it on my arms the other day and I can still smell it on my, my bed sheets uh, it's supposed to be a body conditioner which means you use it in the shower I don't because I have gross dry crusty skin um, that needs all the moisture it can get so I would wear it out of the shower and it just absorbs right in like I don't think I've had any issues with you know like greasy skin um it will stain things like oily residue kind of stain things if you were to touch i don't know paper like the way um this is kind of gone i don't know if you can see like the oil marks that's not from that that's from a, a massage bar that i'll talk about in a minute but that's the kind of thing it would do but again i don't i don't really care about that because <laughs> i'm not touching things like i put it on just before i get into bed i'm not touching anything except for my pajamas and sheets and i can change those and it doesn't you know, it, it doesn't leave like an oily residue, but it would leave a, a smell. And even if it did, again, it's not it's not that big a deal. It's just sheets. I can toss them in the wash and it cleans right off. Grab another soapy thing for you. This was my favourite before. It's the Lord of Misrule shower cream. This was my favourite before I discovered the American cream stuff. Um, I have to say, I don't like the smell of this as much as I like the bath bomb. But it does smell like the bath bomb but a bit more peppery if that makes sense. Like it's supposed to be black pepper and patchouli. Um, I love patchouli. I love patchouli oil. I love anything with patchouli in it. I used to have patchouli um, incense burners, but like, you know, the little cone ones? I don't know where they've gone. I've got dra blood dragon or dragon's blood ones now and they're not, they're not as nice. I love the smell of incense, but I don't like that weird smoky smell that kind of masks the nice smell. So I usually just stick with stuff like this that smells of patchouli instead of incense. 
trying to see what else I brought in that's soapy things. This was, again, a favourite. I got this in a set last Christmas. So not 2018 Christmas, but 2017 Christmas in the sale. This is when we still had the bath and it had a bubble room in it. Um, this and this in the no packaging shower gel. So like the, na the naked one. <laughs> Uh, that's in there as well, but it's completely dried up because I accidentally left it in the airing cupboard where, it, where all the the tiles go, and it just it turned into this like crusty fossil that I couldn't use, so I had to chuck it. But it was only like this size by the time I was done with it, so it's not like a big loss. I still have some of this because it's expensive to buy, and I like save it in like the back of the cupboard for rainy days, as it were. Although I should probably finish it off before I buy any more. Uh, what else? Soapy, shampoo -y things. No, I think that's all of them. Uh, there's another kind of bath thing. Dirty. That was one of my favourite scents before I discovered Lord of Miserable. Uh, it's very minty. This is the dirty shaving cream that I really should use more often. It's so lovely. It's just like breath of fresh air. I should use this more often because the number of times I've cut myself shaving. I don't like shaving. I don't want to do it. But this makes it easier. It is oat milk to cool and calm. Saf Safflower. Safflower oil to moisturise and honey to soothe. I really should use this more often because the main reason I hate shaving my legs is A because I cut myself, B because my skin is sensitive and C because I always get like infected cuts afterwards. I only use those little like disposable razors and I would only ever use them once and I assumed <laughs> incorrectly that they were sterilised before they left the packaging plant. They weren't. <laughs> so I have to sterilise them now um, before I would use them. And then trash them straight afterwards. Um, I did something stupid the other day. I had one that I'd sterilised and then I dropped it. <laughs> uh, and I was like, right, okay, I can't use another one. I can't use that one. What do I do? Damn it, I guess I'm gonna have to use another one. And we got another one and didn't have time to sterilise it, so now my legs are all sore. So, yeah, that's lesson learned. <laughs> There's another scent sort of. Uh, I don't know what to call it, like a scent line maybe? Sleepy? As some of you know, if you've come here from DeviantArt, um, I have terrible insomnia. I'm tired all the time. Um, my mum overheard someone at the bus stop, yeah, this is great life advice, she overheard someone at the bus stop saying that this was like a miracle cure for insomnia. It's not, but it does smell really good. So I have this and I have the body wash in the bathroom. And the reason this is one of my favourites is it did help for a couple of days. Like it doesn't make me want to sleep, but it does smell nice. It does relax me. Like I used to be one of those people who could be like relaxed with lavender. Um, not anymore, unfortunately. It used to help um, and it's a good smell. I don't know if it's worth the price. You can get tubs that are like twice the size of this one. So it's like the size of my head with that stuff in it. And it's like 40 quid maybe, I'm not sure. I've never bought one. But it is outrageous and I would never pay the price for it. This is enough. I don't even think this one's empty. I've gone through one of these so far. That's got mould in it. <laughs> Put that over there and just give that a little wipe whenever I'm done here. I'm trying to rearrange stuff to stuff I've talked about to stuff I still need to talk about. Let's just grab whatever's closest. This was from Christmas. This is the Rudolph jelly mask. I love jelly masks. I've got two of them here. So I've got the Rudolph one, which is... Cocoa powder, orange oil and kaolin, which is like a kind of clay. It smells very like Jaffa Cakes to me, um, which is one of the reasons I like it. It doesn't really help my skin, but not much does. And this one is the Bunny Moon one. I think I have one application of that left, because apparently I have a big face. <laughs> Maybe two, because I've, I've cut it in two, so there must have been a reason for that one. I love the way this smells. It is the best smell ever. It's supposed to be honey, marigold and chamomile. Um, I don't know what marigold or chamomile smells like so I couldn't I couldn't tell you but it does smell absolutely amazing. It's a little bit shimmery. There's like um I don't know if we'll be able to see. There's like gold luster dust in it um that is supposed to go on your skin and make it like sparkly and shiny. It never did that for me. Um but I'm not a big fan. I don't know if you can see that on my finger. No. I really should record on like my big camera if I'm gonna do anything sort of long. Um sadly I don't have that kind of sense grab the other two things that are over here and finish that side. Um, I bought this charity pot lotion when I was working for one of my dad's friends. It didn't work out 
but she worked in like a really tiny office and they were dealing with insane volumes of paper. Um, I have quite oily skin naturally so I thought I'd be okay but after two days in there my hands were crusty and gross and I couldn't pick anything up because um, I just had no traction on my hands. So I got this because it was very watery. Like if you tip that over and leave it for too long it'll all fall out whereas most Lush, Lush products are thick enough that they wouldn't unless it's like a shampoo or soap or something like a liquid one. Uh, I don't know what the charity this, for this is. Stop the Stansted expansion. Uh, I don't know enough about that to have an opinion on it. So it's not like I bought this for supporting the charity. I just wanted some nice uh, hand cream. Uh, Stansted's in England, <laughs> I want to say. I don't know. I don't remember. They're kind of tugging at our heartstrings with a picture of a little girl and what I think is Winnie the Pooh. I mean, it definitely looks like Winnie the Pooh. Last tiny pot I have is the Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser. Uh, I use this for getting off my lipstick and my eye makeup. Like, I, you can't really see anymore. Um, but if you watch the video from earlier, I had black lipstick on. I had pizza <laughs> for, for dinner and I had it all off. So I used this to get off the remnants of it. But it will take off like a full face of makeup really easily. So I would use this with one of those makeup removing... Oh, it's stuck. Makeup removing face cloths. Um, <laughs> there's remnants of lipstick in there. I think I need to get another tub of this kind of soon because I would go through it quite quickly if I was wearing, like I'll probably use it tonight to get my makeup off if I don't, you know, get lazy and use a makeup wipe. But I would use this quite a lot. Uh, I don't really care for the smell, although it is growing on me, I thought. When I first tried it, it was like gag worthy almost. It's almond oil and rose water. I can kind of get the almonds and the rose, um, but I don't get any of the other stuff. Like there's honey, fresh iris, whatever that is. There's rose absolute. Um, quite a lot of rose stuff in there. It's okay. It is growing on me. I'll give it that. There's a sticker underneath that for some reason that says Helen's, Helen's favourite, but they've put over the top of it. This was made by Raphael. There's Raphael. Thank you, Raphael. Um, I thought it was expired there. It was going to be like, mm, no, not for this price. <laughs> last, last big tub thing. This is my favourite product from Lush. It's Rump. Um, it has saved my ass more times than I care to count and that is being literal because that's where I put it. <laughs> if you have thick thighs in the summer, you need to get this. Like that, that's my ringing endorsement. This stinks. I hate the smell of this stuff. It's uh, supposed to smell like, where is it? There's just a joke, a joke about Trump on the front. It doesn't actually tell you what it smells of. Capucci butter, rose water, aloe vera, uh, avocado butter, jojoba oil, muramuru butter, chamomile blue, rose oil, orange absolute. It doesn't smell like any of those things. If you've ever had caffeine pills, and like, I don't know why you'd grind them up, but if you like accidentally broke one before you put it in your mouth, it smells exactly like caffeine. And I don't mean like, coffee caffeine I mean like the chemical caffeine um which I suppose is why it says it like a uh, firms your buttocks but uh <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about this it stains everything as well as I don't know if I showed you there just while I was waving the tub around it is neon orange it's not showing up very well on camera it's like orange peel orange it is really really orange like the color of this duck's foot kind of orange I don't know why this isn't showing up at the duck's foot in the background is. It's it's an awful thing, but it works so well. I'm willing to put up with all those nastinesses. Nastinesses, that's not a word. I'm willing to put up with all those things just for the sake of using this stuff. Because it really does help. I've... Okay, gross story time. Whenever I was in art college, we went down to Dublin for three days. and um, It was three days visiting art galleries all around Dublin. Um, but because we were with the school and the school wasn't given a budget we all had to pay for this we had to do it as cheaply as possible so to do it as cheaply as possible we walked everywhere and this was like maybe the 10th of January so it was freezing cold so we were all bundled up in loads and loads of layers that chafed <laughs> um, we had to walk miles and miles my feet cracked the soles of my foot cracked and bled I ruined my shoes that's how much I walked in them and I walked until my thighs bled so I decided after that I was never going to do something like that again. I didn't find this until last year and this was in, I want to say, 2016. So I've gone two-ish years without it and then I haven't, 
having that go of it since if I'm going out anywhere at all ever the first thing I do in the morning is put some of that on my legs to make sure I don't get the dreaded chub rub <laughs> this this probably sounds really gross but if you get chub rub you'll know what I'm talking about go and get rump from Lush even if you're really cheeky what I did the first time because I wasn't sure I was gonna like it was I was in England so I went around half a dozen different Lushes and I asked for a sample of it in one of the little tubs that goes a long way I would use I would take one of those tiny tubs with me on Saturdays to work um, and you only need like one fingerful like for both th that both sides seriously it goes a long way because there's so much like cocoa butter and stuff in it it just smooths in um, again it will stain so don't put it in neat or anything white and if you're putting it on your legs it probably will get on your underwear <laughs> not gonna lie it's gonna stain your undies orange actually you know what duck's foot not even that orange that kind of orange kind of kind of see it in the shadow that is a honey I washed my hair shampoo bar. I don't know why that's there. I think I meant it lifted it out because I meant to take it into the bathroom with me. Um, because my bunny moon one's broken and my karma kumbo one's nearly done. Just leave that there. Is that everything? No, there's two more things here. And I wanted to talk about. I've only used this once. Excuse the rattling, but I really liked it because it wasn't. It wasn't overpowering. It's this little shimmer bar. I can't. You can't. You kind of see the shimmer? There's a little shimmer there. Um, it's, it's supposed to be like a massage bar. Kind of. It's more like for parties, basically. Um, you would put it on your arms and legs as like... Do you remember in like the early 2000s? Any any old people in the room here? Um, you used to be able to get like body sprays. Like, like one of these. Let me just grab it for you. This isn't what I was talking about specifically, but it looks like one of these with like a weird sort of semi-clear liquid in it. But there'd be like a load of glitter in the bottom and then you shook it up and it sort of looked like, um, is it Vint or Vink? You know, the wine with sh shimmer dust in it? Um, this is leaking. <laughs> Marvellous. I smell like coconuts now. I don't even know why I would complain about that. I love the smell of coconuts. So it's kind of like that, but it's in a solid form. Um, which means it's approximately 9,000 times better because it can't leak. <laughs> so what I would do is I would put, well, I've only used this once, as I say, I would put this on my arms and possibly here, like on my collarbone. Um, and then I would put some of this stuff on it. Silky underwear dusting powder. This is another thing I bought in the pursuit of non-chafed thighs. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work at all. I like the smell of it. It's a really nice smell. It reminds me, or at least it goes well with this thing, which is a massage bar. Uh, tender as the night, I want to say. I It's put on purple on the back because I've left it next to another massage bar. Uh, I don't ever really think I use this. I cut half of it off. I know it's nearly done. And put it in like an incense burner. I made the room smell nice. <laughs> but I've never actually used this for a massage because uh, I have no one. <laughs> somebody from the internet wants to give me a non-sexual massage I'm open to it but yeah I would put this on and then put this some of this stuff on the top of it just to like not mat it down but keep it from like transferring to things and then I'd be sparkly and nice smelly all night um well I say all night till like seven at night and then I would go home and be nice smelly in my pajamas <laughs> I think that's all <laughs> all of the shampoo body washy things I have other stuff from Lush that I like I've got I brought these in um, because I really like these. The knot wraps. So this is the one of the Halloween ones. It's like all different eyes. I don't know what to do with any of these. I bought them because I like the pattern and because I like the fabric. But in all honesty, I don't know what to do with them because I can't get them to stay in my hair without it looking weird. And I don't know how to knot wrap and I don't give presents to people that are in need of wrapping. <laughs> so I don't know what to do with them. I have a bunch of them. I think this one was another summer one. It's a very cool pattern. This is one of the smaller ones. So that's, I want to say 30, maybe 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. And then this one is one of the bigger ones. It's 70 by 70. There you go. You can't even just lean back and you can see the full scope of it. Oh. There's a couple of different materials for them as well. There, That was the one that I got with the rose jam. This was, um, those sort were of smells kind of rosy. This was covering the box. Um, so I just kept that. <laughs> and this one, I think this was another Halloween one. It's tied in like a bandana because that's how I was trying to wear it. 
This one's one of the ones that's made out of like silk almost. So it's like um this sort of shape. I actually don't know what this is for. Uh this pattern. Uh I feel like it had something to do with witches or tarot cards, but I I lost the little card that told me what it was. There I have a couple of other ones, but I don't know where they are. There's one that's the it's covered in like what looks like jellyfish, but it's like rainbow coloured. I have two of those. I have one in the wrap and one that someone took and made into a bag. So it's like a reusable bag. Maybe that's what I could do with them. I don't know, these ones are kind of small. Reusable purse? <sighs> I don't know. I'll figure something out. I hope you liked that. Because <laughs> it was kind of rambly and a little coming in at 25 minutes and I don't know how to cut stuff down because as I said yesterday I'm working with a uh, Windows Movie Maker <laughs> um, and I don't know how to edit. So I hope this wasn't too weird and long and boring and rambly. Uh, I promise next time I do a vlog in my room or a talk about stuff that I like in my room I will get out the proper camera. Uh, I will be taking the camera with me tomorrow and we're going to uh, Derry. So I hope you're in the mood for a lot of photos of the train. Sorry, I'm just moving stuff around. I had other stuff in here that I don't like so much. I don't know why I brought it in with me. Like these things. Sorry to jump from a tangent. Um, I bought a box of Lush Experiences or something along those lines. So there's like this little brown box with four different one use shower jelly things in it. So there was like love, money, happiness, joy, letting go. I think this one's love, but it's the only one I haven't used. Sort of saving it for a rainy day. Sorry, <laughs> lost my train of thought there. Yes, uh, we're getting up tomorrow to go. I don't know if I'm going to be recording all of the day or when I'm going to start. I might do some in the morning, some in dairy, and then some whenever I get home. I don't know. I haven't been in such a while and I haven't done this in such a while. So if you know anything more about this, please tell me. Please let me know. Sound off in the comments. Give me some sort of direction or advice, anything is appreciated. Um, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.